Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, and my big question for you guys, yes, this is another vaping video product review, something I wanted to cover for a while, but never did. Basically what I'm wondering is, do you guys friggin' love your EVOD tanks? Do you absolutely love these, except for one major flaw with them? Other than that, you think they're amazing? Well, I got a tank for you, right after the intro. Oh yeah, do I ever have a tank for you people. Okay, so you got your EVODs, right? They're bottom coil changeables. You know, you anybody who's been in vaping would realize what these are. You know, you unscrew the base, unscrew the base, and sometimes your coil comes out of the base, and you got your Kanger coil, you know, your Kanger, your Kanger, and uh, that's supposed to screw into this thing. Supposed to screw into this thing, but sometimes it gets loose and falls out, and then you fill it from the bottom and all that. But the main problem with these is they only hold 1.6 mil of e-liquid. And a couple of my friends started off with this kit, and the problem is, is they buy the kit where you get the two of these and the two e-darts, the two batteries, I mean, and they would uh, carry them both with them and kill both tanks before they're done their shift in the day. So I found a solution. Say hello to the Vision Victory Tank. That's right, people. The Vision Victory Tank. Look at this thing. It holds five milliliters of juice. Also, it runs your Kanger Tech coils for your EVODs, your Pro Tank 2s, all that. It'll actually run them. Right now, I'm running a coil in here. We're going to show you what it's like to break it down and go from there. So, to break it down, just like on your EVODs, you might need your shirt because your hands are covered in juice. You unscrew the base and your coil sits into the base just like on an EVOD. And you fill from there. That simple, people. And then you put your coil back in. Boom shakalaka, done and done. Screw it onto your device. She's ready for a vape. It's not too bad of a, not too bad of a tank. I like the fact that it holds 5 mil of juice. I used this tank to go down to blokes when I went down that one time to London and it easily lasted me the whole ride there without even getting empty. It was about where it was now when I got there. And it gives you a good chatch. It gives you a real good chatch. Now pros and cons of this tank, I've modified this tank and I'm going to show you now. The pros, definitely the 5 mil juice capacity. Another pro, Kanger coils. Uses the Kanger Pro Tank 2 and EVOD coils. What I like about that is if you know how to rebuild them, you never have to buy another coil again. Just rebuild the shit out of your own. But one of the cons with this thing here that I have is number one, well, I'll, I'll just start rhyming off the cons. Number one, plastic tank. So if you have a tank cracker, you put it in there, you're gonna have a friggin' mess on your hands. Number two, the stock air hole. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can show you that. that's one of the air holes there and I thought they were garbage so I went ahead and drilled them out went ahead and drilled them out a lot now this thing breathes like no other now the only problem with the stock air hole like stock right out of the box this thing hits hard it does a good job it's a decent tank for a starter for someone who doesn't want to shell out the 40 bucks for a Nautilus but wants large capacity seven bucks on can vape for the vision victory and I love this damn thing. And it comes in multiple colors too, like your tint, your green, your pinks, your blues, whatever color of the rainbow you want, they have it in that color. You can load it up. Stock, the air flows are fine, but I find they draw in too much atmosphere and they're not wide enough to ignore it, to like pollen and dust and all that. And it plugs the air hole. And then you gotta go in there with a sewing needle or a piece of canthal and work that needle, that hole out, and then it'll be fine again. But I found by drilling it wider, it doesn't plug up, and I, I can do a direct lung hit, uh, which is the way I like to vape. I don't really enjoy vaping where you bring it into your mouth, then to your lung. I like just a, you know, rig to the lung, one nice clean draw. So for me, this tank is one that I keep going back to. I use it a lot of the times on those Ego batteries, which I have none here to show you, but. Um, I put it on an Ego battery, wear it around my neck, and that's my go-to tank for my daily stuff. It's perfect. It's pretty awesome. 
So there you go, if you want a cheap high capacity tank that has coils that are easy to find and replace, the Vision Victory might be for you. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.